Welcome to Aura History Untold, guys. I have been looking forward to this game for quite a while. It's kind of a civilization -y game, but then again not. Uh, it has a lot of very different mechanics to civilization, and I really like them. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we are going to jump in and play a game I have played a little bit. Uh, just Sejong to... the Great, King of Korea, reformed the nation and invented the Korean alphabet. Mm -hmm. uh, just just to, to, to get a feel for it, and so I don't mess up completely and look like an idiot uh, when we play. We're going to play Ran as Kang Hang. Ran Kang Hang. King, created Thai alphabet and established Buddhism as state religion. Uh, so there are 43, I think, different leaders, or 42, 42 or 43 different leaders that you can play as. And uh, we're going to play as uh, Ram Kham Hang of Thailand, because I live in Thailand, even though I'm Danish, I live here. And uh, so I feel, why not play as Thailand, uh, because I live here. Uh, so we have some things that uh, affect us. We have white elephants. Our palace provides plus one elephants per turn, after you unlock any elephant unit. Uh, plus 25 per for strength for forces containing elephant units and plus 25% harvest production at camps. Uh, we are ambitious, so minus 50% turn duration of golden ages. It's not great, it's not it's not the worst, I think. Uh, productive plus 25% build production in your capital, which is great. Traditional plus 20% bonus prestige from construction triumphs. Uh, creative plus 15 prosperity in all cities. And we'll talk about that later. Uh, plus fifteen percent religion spread strength in all cities, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. We'll play on Earl. That's normal difficulty. Uh, the default is actually Viscount, just under. But we'll we'll play on normal. Uh, we'll create a new map. There are preset maps that you can play on. Seven different preset maps, I think it is. And but we'll generate a new one. Uh, We'll play on Twin Continent, sure, large map size, uh, wrap map is enabled. Here's the seed, if you want to play along, you can go ahead and choose that seed. Uh, we will play, play on the Earth actual tilt, you can actually choose other planets as well, which is kind of weird, but cool enough. Uh, temperature is mild, humidity is humid, and sea level is average, those four are all just standard. Um, nations, we'll play with uh, 12 nations, that's fine, uh, that's kind of the standard, and I think we'll go for a long game, 1250 turns, no randomized text, human player calling is enabled, we'll talk about that as well, and these are just standard as well, medium, 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 alright, create game. So uh, if you're looking forward to our history untold, and if you're Look, enjoying the video, it would be amazing if you would hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. It really helps me out and I really do appreciate it. Another thing that really helps is comments. So if you have suggestions, tips, tricks, uh, or things you're doing, you think I'm doing right or wrong, I would love to hear about it uh, because it really helps out the channel and I love getting comments and I love reading the comments. I read all of my comments and I reply to by far the most of them. So if you have something, just let me know. I'd love to hear it. Uh, just don't, if it's criticism, then uh, constructive criticism would be great uh, because telling me I'm an idiot Creation doesn't really help. Is innovation. Promise, potential, possibility. These are the words to describe the future before you, Ram Kham Hang. As the illustrious ruler of the Thai people, your visionary leadership is the final piece of a puzzle millennia in the making. As you take on the mantle of leadership, know that you carry with it a great burden. The burden of greatness foretold. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, uh, just telling me that I'm an idiot doesn't really help, but telling me I'm an idiot because of something. So, like, kind of a... Uh, Constructive criticism and not just criticism is is very much appreciated. So we start here with uh, with Bangkok, our capital, and we have a scout that we can move around. Now we see a cache over here, which I'm definitely going to go take. Uh, then we see there are some predators over here: a tiger, a cougar, 
There's also some kind of thing here. That, that's a resource. There's a wolf there as well. But uh, let's send our scout over here. Our scout can take a wolf. It cannot take a tiger. Uh, it can take a cougar. But gets very damaged from it. Uh, Alright. We have our city here. So we want to build something. And I think the first thing I want to build is a scout. So that we have two of them. And then we have amenities, but we don't have any amenities available. We'll find out about that, them later. Alright. That's it for turn one. Wow, we have a tribe right next to us. Okay, that can be both good and bad. That can be both good and bad. We need to do some research. And I think we'll start by doing rope making because uh, Stonehenge, we need, we, we want to build Stonehenge. We, have, we get uh, bonuses for building these triumphs, which is basically world wonders if you talk civ speak. And uh, so, so we want to build them if at all possible. So let's select rope making, and that'll be our first research. Now, if we actually take a look at the research, uh, we uh, the game is divided into three acts, I think it is, and each act has four ages. So we're in the ancient history right now, then we'll progress to the Bronze Age, Iron Age, Antiquities, and then go to Act 2. There are some other ages, and then Act 3, where there are some other ages. Now, each age, uh, when, well, when each act ends, or each, uh, yeah, when each act ends, uh, the worst civilizations, or the lowest ranked civilizations, they will be called, they will be deleted. And... Uh, that goes for us as well. So we do not want to be down here when Act 1 ends, because then we basically the game will end and, and we'll have lost. So we want to stay up here. And this is prestige that determines that. So you know, right now we're getting four prestige from our government and one from industry. And we, we need to grow our prestige. Uh, as fast as we can, basically. Alright, we collected a cash. We got two spices, two precious metals, and two salt. Okay. Uh, can we use any of those as amenities? No. Alright. Uh, it's the Kusamui tribe. Okay, cool. So we'll just explore a little bit here. And our city is growing in nine turns. Our scout is ready in three, which is fine. All right, we found two more caches. So there are different types of caches. This is a resource cache. This is an equipment cache. So let's go grab the resource cache first. And there's another equipment cash very nice so what did we get here two spices two precious metals and two salt i think that was the same that we got last time let's go grab this equipment cash and our new scout has been built so that's great let's send you out this way to see what's going on and then we need to select a new project and i want to build a farm so this is a very good farming region. It has four food, then it has two timber, two materials, and two wealth. But we want to build a farm in here. Let's just build it there so that our city grows a little bit quicker. We can see our resources up here. So we have food, wealth, timber, and materials. Uh, yeah. see no caches there there's a cache over there all right now we've got a feast here feast 
A feast of plow, a wheel, a tunic, a perfume, and a silk. That is very nice. Uh, but now we can put in an amenity here because we have a feast. So we'll put that in there. And I actually forgot something which was very stupid. Because I want to produce feast here in our hearth. So we'll tell our hearth to produce feasts forever. Uh, we got a wheel that we can put in here to increase its production. So right now it's one every 39 turns. If we put a wheel in there, then it's one every 27 turns. So that's better. And then we can also... Let's give it some wealth. We're generating 12 wealth per turn. We'll put in some wealth here to speed it up even further. So now it's one every seven turns. So we'll actually produce an excess. Because we consume these feasts as amenities. So this feast will be active for 10 turns. Then we need to stick another one in there to get the, the benefits. And the benefits are great from, from the feast. So it gives plus 25 city growth, plus 5 city food, and plus 10 city happiness. Which is also fantastic. Down here we have the quality of life uh, of the city. And it has uh, five different uh, attributes, you might say. So there's happiness, which if we're happy, we boost our production. You can see our happiness is now 60. So we get plus 10% city production. If it, we bring it, take it up to 70, it'll be plus 25. Then we have health, which is the growth. Uh, knowledge, which is research. Prosperity, which is tax income, so wealth. Uh, and we're already at 65 there as well. And then we have security, which is a bonus effect to, to our force strength. Alright, so we're producing feasts. We have a feast in here. Uh, so Bangkok will grow a little bit faster now, which is amazing. Uh, let's go grab this cache, then I guess we'll come back over and grab that one. Uh, you come out here. All right, we've researched rope, so we can now produce rope, fishing nets. We can build a stone hinge, logging camp, and we can fish. What's next? Uh, we do have this white-tailed deer here, but we also have some grapevines. The white tail deer is protected, you might say. Um, let's go with grain. Grain storage. Uh, let's come in there. You're on your way over there. Oh, there's another cache. And now our city tier increase. So Bangkok just grew. Which means we can select a new zone or a new region out here uh, that we want to pull into the city or include in the city, you might say. And we can see the resources of each of them, but this guy has grapevines, which is great. So I think that's what we're going to take. You can see that each region is divided into zones. So here there are four zones, one, two, three, four. Uh, and here there's four zones. You can also see up here that there's four zones. So this one only has two. But I think we'll take uh, Utaradit here. Because it has the grapes, it has decent food. Actually, maybe we take Sisaket for the better food. Or Kabi, because that has barley. You know what? We're taking Kabi. Kabi is the one. Confirm. Alright. And when is our farm done in two turns? Oh, we found a cache there. You have a cache right there. Alrighty. So, I wonder if we didn't meet these guys because we didn't have an event. Normally there's a wet, an event with... Wow, I couldn't speak there. 
an event when you meet someone. There's another cache there. Nice. All right, we've got some metal ingots and some materials. Let's send you over there. Uh, and what did we get from the other one? A wheel. Okay. Uh, let's send you up this way to see what's there. It looks like it might be ocean. So we'll probably have to explore back down this way. All right. Our city has no project because we built the farm. So let's start by giving the farm a plow because we've got one. So that'll give us plus 50% harvest, harvest production. So right now it's producing 3.6 a turn. And now it's producing four. I'm not sure how that harvest production works because it only went up 0.4 and 0.4 is not 50% of 3.6. So I'm not entirely sure how those numbers work. But uh, anyway, it's, it's additional food. Uh, I think the next thing we want to build is a workshop. And we'll build the workshop up here. And after that, I definitely want a settler. So that we can settle another city. All right. All right, tribe met. Two new tribes, Nakon Patom and Chayapum. All right, two tribes, wow. We have a lot of tribes around. All right, we collected that cash. That was 15 food. And another tribe, Lampoon tribe. Wow, there are a lot of tribes. All right, uh, come up here. Uh, you... Just come down there. We can walk through their territory. I don't know if it annoys them that we do it. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, you have a cache there. So let's cancel that and move over to that cache. Uh, you cancel and go grab that cash. All right, Boy, new no event. older than 16 enters your court, springing with excitement. He explains that he and his friends were climbing trees, and while sitting atop a giant oak, he spotted a raised and unnaturally round hill and smoke, as though from a campfire rising in the distance. He requests support to safely investigate. All right, so... Uh, these events pop up once in a while, and they have some benefits and some negatives, usually. So, here we can send a scout, which gives us minus, minus 10 happiness in our capital for 10 turns, and 5 jewelry and 5 ceramic pots. Now, we can also arm the boy and his friends, which gives us minus 10 security in the capital for 10 turns, and plus 5 jewelry and plus 5 ceramic pots. We are going to arm the boy and his friends. Because right now, happiness is way more important than security. And uh, we'd like the, the ceramic pots and the, and the jewelry. So, yeah. Alright. So, when are you done with your workshop in two turns? You're growing in 11 turns. Okay... Yeah, you're on your way over there. We create, we crafted the, our first feast. So when this runs out, we can stick in a new one. It will stick in a, a new one uh, automatically. Uh, we have get, we will get some goals eventually. We don't have any right now. We have our crafting crews right now. We just have the great hearth. But once our workshop is complete, we'll have our workshop as well. And then we can see our inventory up here. So we have. A feast in our inventory. We have five jewelry, uh, some goods, some uh, or some uh, metal ingots, some perfume, a tunic, a wheel, and we have some other stuff here. Some silk, other resources. 
So yeah, it's a very cool game. I love it. Uh, right, and the turn. Grain storage is done, so that means that we can build the granary. And I think we'll go with archery now. It gives us some prestige, which we want. And, uh, of course, it gives us an archer unit, which is really great. Also, a hunting camp, which is really good for us, because uh, we have our uh, thing here, where uh, plus 25% harvest production at camps. So that is great. Uh, next turn, you're done. All right, so there we have our uh, crafter, our workshop, and we are going to tell it to start making lithic tools. Uh, we'll, we don't have any lithic tools, so we can't give it one, uh, but we will give it s some wealth to work with. So it produces one every six turns. Once we produce the first one, we'll stick that in here uh, so that it has uh, an even better uh, production rate. So over here we can use rope and gears. Over here, metal tools, industrial tools, and lithic tools. All right. So we have that, and we are now producing our settler, which will take eight turns. Well, we found a new cache. Let's go get it. And you, did you find the cash? You did not. Let's come up here. It's a little annoying we haven't explored this down here and this out here, but our guys will get there. All right, a new feast was plotted in and we've spotted a cash down there okay so once we've taken that one we'll take the other one so this the uh, chayapum tribe is unfriendly these guys are neutral and these guys are neutral right, come up there i want to explore back to bangkok so that we can get bangkok explorer we have a Paragon available. Okay, that's interesting. I haven't seen that that early before. Normally I get my first Paragon when we switch to Bronze Age. Well, normally, the one time that I've tried it. Uh, all right, we have Thag, Hanu, and Tapuchi Belatekhalim. All right, interesting. Uh, so these are our advisors. They will be our advisors. And they have different roles that they can do. So Thag here can be our chief advisor, giving us plus 10% build production in all cities. Can be our domestic advisor, giving us plus 10% build production toward triumph improvements in the capital. Or he can be a military advisor, plus 10% build production toward uh, military improvements. He can also create masterpieces, uh, statues and textiles and force plus 100 percent siege damage and plus 100 percent pillage damage if we put him out in the field as i understand it now we also have hanu which is plus five percent city growth per turn in each city below population tier five that's not bad plus one speed and plus one strength to scouts and settlers that's not bad either. Military advisor plus one site to all cities. All right. Chief advisor for Tapuchi here. Plus two research per turn in cities with a science improvement. Plus five research per turn as domestic advisor. Uh, foreign advisor research agreements provide plus 100% research. That's quite nice if we ever get there. And as force plus five bonus xp when this force defeats an enemy force hmm i think i'll take thag because that plus 10 percent build production in all cities is quite nice thag. 
early fictional engineer, invented hitting rocks with other rocks. <laughs> well done, Thag. Invented hitting rocks with other rocks. <laughs> that was funny. Right, and we found a plow, but you already have a plow, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, so, ooh, I missed that one there. Okay. Well, maybe you can go get it. You're on your way in there. You're grabbing that. And then you'll move down this way. Okay, our city grew. We collected an, a wheel. And we've spotted a cache of supplies over here. Grab that. You've grabbed that, so come down here. And Bangkok, we can now select a new region. And... I took Kabi last time. Let's grab Sisaket. Oh, Guriam. My ex wife is on there. Alright, we'll grab Sisaket here. Now, I said that I wanted to build uh, the Stonehenge, but we don't have the materials we need for it. Uh, we have the timber, but we need five lithic tools and ten rope to build it. And we have none of each. So, yeah, uh, we need to get these things going. So I think after this uh, settler, we'll build another settler. to Because we can have three cities right now. So we want to get our three cities going quite quickly. And then... Uh, we'll start building uh, workshops and and such to, to get those resources so that we can build the the Stonehenge. We might not get there, but we'll see. All right, we have a ruins cache. Let's go grab that. You're grabbing that. There's another tribe, Nakon Panom tribe. Wow, we have a lot of tribes. One, two, three, four, five tribes we've met. That's a lot. All right. New event, Celestial Tomb. Across the known world, rumors swirl of an unprecedented undertaking. A monumental tomb to surpass all others, reaching towards the heavens themselves. This grand edifice is not merely to be a final resting place for a great leader, but a statement of power, wealth, and technological prowess. A leader who could construct such a marvel would secure their legacy for eternity. Their name whispered with reverence for all time. All right, so this is a goal, an act goal. And the, the leader that builds the Great Pyramids of Giza will uh, get 150 prestige. But because we uh, we have it as a goal. We get an extra uh, plus 150 prestige on completion and plus 20 city prosperity. So, yeah. Well, this is... I, I think that's how it works. Uh, don't take my word for it. So the first to build it gets... 150 prestige and then the great period pyramid gives 150 prestige as well there can only be built one i th i think it would be weird otherwise and you're grabbing that you're grabbing that and we have a new Speaking event the tribe meets with your emissary to inform you on their recent struggles we are building a monument the likes of which the world has never seen but our master builder has taken ill and is bedridden his mind can't simply be replaced. Do you have a master builder that could help us finish this project? 
so these events, so this is for the N Nakon Padom tribe, who are currently unfriendly. If we uh, provide them with what they requested, our uh, relationship will go up, we'll get some prestige. We do lose 15 timber and 20 materials, which is not great because we don't have a lot. But I think it's worth it because if you get the... I, I don't know exactly how it works, but I think if you get them way up here uh, to super friendly, they will join you. or They at least can join you. Uh, and, and that is a great benefit to you because that's a lot of people joining and they bring some materials or something. So we will provide the support, try and make them friendly, try and make them want to join us. Uh, you're still on your way down there. You're still on your way over there. We spotted two new caches. Where? I see one there. Don't know where the other one is. Okay. A settler is done in three turns. All right. All right, we got archery. That gives us some more prestige. We can build a watchtower, hunting camps, and so on. I think we'll go for animal husbandry next. That will also give us some prestige. And let's just check our standings. Uh, we are third right now. That's not bad. We haven't met anyone else yet, but we are third. I'm actually quite happy with that. I think at this point in my test game, I was... 10th? <laughs> or something like that. So, yeah. All right, you collected that. Let's go collect that. You are collecting that. Oh, there's a cache there. Okay. We'll grab that after. And two turns, the settlers are done. We could rush them. What will it cost? 19 wealth. You know what? Let's get it done. And we crafted some lithic tools. Did we put some lithic tools into our workshop we did not it's the first one we crafted so let's put some lithic tools in there that gives us plus 0 0.2 per turn so it looks like it didn't do anything but it might just take effect next turn all right that well, didn't really do anything uh, nation rankings changed we're down to fifth okay that was quick I was so happy. Uh, what did we get from this cash? Uh, two furs, okay. Let's go over here. We spotted more caches. All right, cool, cool. And we now have our settler. So we want to figure out where we want to settle. Uh, what's that? It's a bear with a flower in the hair, in its hair. Okay. Uh, so our settler, where do we want to settle? So the game kind of gives you suggestions. So it's suggestion is over here in Angsila, uh, which is a kind of nice zone also with a goat, but I think it's too close to our capital. I think it's too close to our capital. So what I think I want to do is hmm maybe come down here yeah settle down there we don't know what's here, but it'll be fine. Right. 
ash collected. There, we got some timber and some fur. Let's grab that. And we discovered more caches. Wow. Alright, very nice. We got a plow. Uh, go grab that cache. And there's another one and another tribe. The Tuck tribe. And we have met You've made the first Incans. With a mysterious people. All right. I don't necessarily like that. They have a settler there. Well, we'll see. Woven wonders. Artisans of a nearby tribe have created impressive woven fabrics and patterns for the changing weather. You send your emissaries to trade for some of their work, but they are stopped by the tribe's leader. It is our belief that both our peoples have uniquely skilled artisans. We'd be happy to formally trade these goods to establish a friendship between our people that will last for centuries. All right, so this is for the Tack Tribe. We will do it, even though it's minus 5% build production in your capital for 10 turns. We will do it. Collected another cash, two syrup, two precious stones, and two leather. All right, you get up there. You're grabbing that. Another plow. Alright. Well, we settled right next to each other on the same turn. That sucks. That really sucks. Well, uh, oh, we don't have any feasts available. Well, stick some jewelry in there then. And we'll tell you to produce feasts. We'll give you some food to help with that. So it's one every ten turns, so you're actually self-sufficient in producing feasts. Uh, cornerstone event. The founders of your nation's newest city look to you for advice. They hope to build into the city's foundation a guiding principle, one that will chart its destiny. In this case, literally. Masons stand by awaiting your direction. What word should be carved into the cornerstone of the gathering hall? So here we can choose between security, happiness, and knowledge. So victory, honor, and tradition. I'm going to go with happiness uh, because that's production. And the more production we can get, the better. Uh, we are going to build, I think, a farm here. Let's just build a farm there. Okay. And Bangkok is done with its settler in four turns. We could rush it. You know what? Rush it. Uh, go grab that. Alright, animal husbandry, very nice. Uh, let's get pottery so that we can make ceramic pots. Bangkok doesn't have a project. Alright, we're going to build a workshop more here. And we're going to put it in there. Yeah, so we have two workshops. So you can see each of our uh, regions here have their own slots over here. Uh, a farm here would be really nice as well. But that's for a later date. A trade agreement with the Incans. Sure, let's do that. Well, we have an idle unit. Oh man, you didn't find any other caches. Well, come over here and grab that then. You can explore this on the way. We have our new settler. Where do we want to settle? I actually think somewhere like here could be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. 
It looks pretty good. Let's settle there. Why can't you settle there? Is it because of uh, those wolves? Well, then just uh, move out here. Right, we collected that cash. Then we'll attack that wolf. Looks also close. Okay, so we're uh, kind of friendly. And we collected some timber, furs, and leather. All right, so we cleared that predator. That gave us uh, some furs and some food. Uh, let's just heal up real quick. Let's see. Can you settle here now? You can. Okay. Let's settle there. All right. Uh, next turn. And new event. Still, we stand strong. The people tell stories of the seat of the divine. At the gates, a statue of a god as tall as a mountain looms, imposing, welcoming, awe-inspiring. No nation has built such a structure, but the first to do so would surely stand apart. All right. So they want to build us the Colossus of Rhodes as well. That's also a. Uh, Act goal. That will give us the Colossus of Rhodes. Will give us a hundred prestige and plus one hundred and fifty as we, if we, uh, if we do it. All right. Let's see you. We can't take out the tiger. We could take out the bear. And the wolf, but I think I'll just keep exploring. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, cancel that. Go grab that cash. And we crafted a lithic tool, which is fine. Oh, you found a cash on your way, or is that the cash we sent you to? That's the cash we sent you to. Okay. Uh, the city has no project. Alright, so we built the new workshop. Then I think we'll build a farm up here. And then after that, I think I want to start some military production. Two archers and a spearman. Over here, we definitely want a farm. Oh, there's only two uh, things in there. We've met An the Cherokee, okay. Its hand. All right, hello Cherokee. And craft queue is empty, oh yes. Uh, we want to give you the lithic tool. And then you can start making rope endlessly. Minus five wealth. That doesn't work. So you'll just be doing that. Uh, you can make feasts. And you can use food to do that. And we have a feast yes we do all right very good uh, so there we collected that cash let's go collect that cash you're on your way to collect that cash all right uh, ceramic pots uh, let's go herbalism 
and then we'll go bronze working after that. You know what? I'm going to tell you to auto explore. Crafting complete. We created a feast. Good. Uh, then oh, you have two turns left. Okay. We created a lithic tool and another feast. And the Cherokee want to trade, sure. That's fine. And you still have one turn left to go, yeah. All right, now, uh, we're not gonna put you in there. We're going to put a feast in there for the growth. growth. And... Bangkok has generated a claim. So we're definitely taking Utardit this time. There's also horses in there, which I want. So let's grab that. And 22 turns grows. Okay. And we are producing archers. Siracha has generated a claim. Very good, very good. Uh, we'll take Nongkai. We have cows there. And it's the same yield as this guy. But plus the cows. And it has five zones. So that's good. That's good. Uh... Oh, we already did that. Feast. We constructed our farm here. We have a plow that we can put in there to increase its production. What was it without? Oh, it's the same. But I think it will be better with the plow. I don't know. So it's one every two turns. We'll get a grain. We'll get a grain one every two turns. I like it. Uh, I am going to tell you to auto explore as well. And let's end the turn. City tier increased for Pichit. And we are going to grab Lampang. Because his city is down there. And we want those horses and the uh, cows. So Lampang it is. Empire has changed from friendly to neutral. And the Cherokee has changed from trusted to friendly. Alright. And we claimed a couple regions. Herbalism is done, so we can build the apothecary, herbal medicine, food oil, and tea leaves. Let's go for bronze working. So we don't actually have to research everything here because uh you'll get these technologies that we we won't get if we don't research this now we can get them later uh, from other technologies so we'll just go with bronze and what's our standing we're in sixth place okay we have a new arrives at the capital it seems the son of the tribe's chieftain is getting married and everyone in the nearby lands are invited to the celebration. Along with the desire for your presence to participate in the revelry, there is a humble request in deference of your wealth and resources to contribute to the festivities. All right, so we can give them 50 food or 25 wealth. I think I'm gonna give them the food because we're producing more food than we are wealth. 
And it also gives us plus two relationship instead of a plus one. And we got 10 prestige, but we do that for both of them. So, boom. Let's do that. And that's that for this turn. Oh, there's a resource cache he just found there. He'll take that uh, on his own. Okay. And we have your city has no project in Pichit. So it just built a farm. Uh, let's build a workshop here. Like so. We have our first archer completed. Or is it our first? Yeah, it's our first. Alright. We're building another archer and then a spearman. Good. And we have another event. Uh, we built that farm. I think we have a plow for it. Yes, we do. So that gives an extra 0.3 food per turn. Let's see what this event is. Speak of a great lighthouse lost to time. One with a light so brilliant it could be seen halfway across the world. Such a marvel might be a myth, but if a nation could make such a thing real, that would be a sight to behold. Okay, so the Great Lighthouse, first to build it, gets 150. Uh, plus fee, three available merchants, plus C, two sight to sea forces. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Well, so we have some act goals here. Oh, that's that one. Okie dokie. Let's go on to the next turn. We created some lithic tools. We just cre keep creating them. Uh, did we put lithic tools in here? Yes, we did. We're producing rope. Good. And then we're getting another workshop. As well, we're building the farm. It'll be done in five turns. Wow, you're building slow. Okay. Alright, we discovered uh, something from another leader. An improvement down here. Okay. Oh, there's also here. Oh, you George, wasn't a new nation. All right. Hi, George. New Utaradit. Okay, that's a weird name for, 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 for an American city. There's someone down here as well. All right. I feel a little bit encroached upon. Minutes activated. That's fine. You have collected a cache of supplies, two food oils, furs, and two sculpting materials. Created. A couple of feasts, good. Uh, so, let's just see our construction queue. Uh, the the great hearth, uh, you can use the wheel. So this gathering hall, you cannot use the wheel. Okay, that's a shame. Okay. Well, next turn. Agreement proposed. Uh, yeah, we will trade. That's fine. All right, we created another archer. And we just need the spearman. All right. Friendly with the US. We are neutral with the Cherokee. We spotted a couple of caches and we crafted a feast. So you spotted a cache and you have spotted a cache. Okay.
All right, we got our spearmen. That's good. Uh, we constructed our farm. We spotted another cache, and we got a lithic tools. All righty. Uh, so Bangkok is now idle. Now I don't suppose we can. We don't. We have four of the five lithic tools that we need. No rope. I wonder if we can build that in the next age. I'm not sure if we can. Uh, what do we want to build here? I mean, we're at four or five. We need a dwelling. Let's build a dwelling. That'll take five turns. It grows in six. That's perfect timing. And after the dwelling... I think what we'll do is we'll take these wild horses and build a farm and then we'll take the grapes and build a farm all right you don't have a project um Well, let's build another farm here, or a hunting camp. Nah. Uh, cow, build farm improvements to increase harvest risk. So it is a farm. Alright, let's build another farm here. And this farm can have a plow. Very good. Uh, we have our spearmen crafted now. So the units here, uh, right now it's set to a squad. So that's just one unit. But you can also build battalions. And then there's three units. And then you have different tactics. So the default one, you can just have three random. But the wedge is actually a melee and two... Uh, ranged units so that's what we're going to create we'll deploy that in Bangkok and then we'll go clear out some of these dangerous animals that are out here uh, it's not easy I mean this tiger danger 5 uh, can actually kill our our battalion which is pretty nuts All right, we activated some amenities. We collected a cash, two codices, two fabric, and two any wealth, and 15 materials. We crafted some rope. Yay! Our first rope. So it'll take you 15 terms to craft rope again. How many lithic tools do we have? Four. All right. Well, we'll craft one more. Or will we? Will we switch to... Let's switch to rope for now. Uh, let's just build one rope and then we'll go back to lithic tools here. Uh, the wedge has begun mustering, so it'll be ready, I think, next turn. And yeah, that's it. Next turn, city tier increased, so that is Siracha, where we can now select another zone, and I think we'll select Sumut Prakan, because it gives us two materials for food. All right, so there, then we have our battalion here, our wedge, and we could actually rename that. So let's rename it, uh, uh, 
spear archers. Just so we know what's in there at a glance. Uh, let's go take out these cougars. I think. Spotted another cache of supplies. Very good. And what about down here? How are you doing? We're grabbing those supplies, maybe? Yep. Collected a cache. Two spices, two personal metals, and two salts. We have a new milestone here. Outstanding. Uh, I think we'll go Patani. Yeah, just to block him there. We'll go Patani. So that he can't... Because then the tribe there blocks him as well. Which I like. And the new event. The tribe's leader watches with disinterest. As one of his people rubs his hands nervously, a sack of gold at his feet. It seems the man stole from the treasury, but the guilt was too much, and he came forward to return his purloined prize. The ruler is about to cast judgment, but interested in your sense of justice, asks for your counsel. All right. Uh, condemn him for his first crimes. Minus five happiness in your capsule for five turns, but we get plus one relationship. Or... Release him for his honesty. Plus five happiness in all cities for five turns. Minus one relationship. I want the relationship. I want the relationship. Okay. Very good. You have reached the Bronze Age. All right, so we're in the Bronze Age. Uh, so we get five prestige. We can make swordsmen, build a stone pit. We get the new formation, copper, and so on. Uh, welcome to the Bronze Age. In this era, the first urban societies emerged, inciting innovations in writing, trade, worship, and justice. New mining techniques enable the use of harder metals, uh, uh, lead to the first warships, wheeled land forces, and diverse new ways for people to improve the, their quality of life. The Bronze Age also sees local traditions replaced with organized religions and structured worship, a new cornerstone of these societies. With, the, with formalized laws and larger societies, new leadership is required. The first pharaohs, kings, and queens. Very good. And the first thing we are going to research here is Code of Laws, uh, because that gives us monarchy, which gives us uh, an extra city. It allows us to build an extra city. So, Code of Laws is the very first thing. Uh, workshop. We've got a new workshop. You are going to produce rope. And get some lithic tools. We do not have the wealth to do that. We're actually not generating a whole lot of wealth. All right, so we have three workshops now. That's pretty good. Uh, Pichit. Uh, well, you are going to build... These are both farms. Let's get some wild horses going. All right. Uh, we lost 45 health attacking the cougar, so this will take two attacks to kill them. Uh, this will take three hunts. Uh, the wolf only takes one hunt, but that, that's basically how it works. Alright. So we effectively block Chikama off here, so we can only expand down this way, which is great. 
Uh, new event, family business. The headed young man from the Garmir clan is looking to open a new business. He's a capable herbalist, but his family's background is in metallurgy. Meanwhile, his hobby is creating reed pipes to sell to traders. He makes a promising case for each venture and requests national funding for one of his enterprises. All right, so we can we'll get minus twenty prosperity in our capital for twenty turns for all of them, except if we decline him, which we're not going to do. Uh, but we'll get one hundred twenty five research towards irrigation, chariots, or trading, and. That's basically, uh, if we take a look at irrigation, irrigation costs 125. It's in the Iron Age though, which we're not in the in yet. Uh, so chariots are in the Bronze Age. Trading is in the Bronze Age. I think we'll go chariots because we're uh, building on some horses right now. So if we take chariots, it enables a horseman. Stable horse, uh, war chariots, uh, carriages, and war elephants. Let's go with that. Uh, yeah, we've made progress toward chariots. Chariots is done. Uh, we, we can actually see that in here. Uh, so chariots is already researched, which is great. Uh, construction new workshop. Yeah, we've found a plow. Great. All right, cool. Anyway, I think uh, around an hour is where we're going to keep these episodes. So around an hour long for each episode. I think that's a reasonable amount of progress to be made in each episode and a reasonable length of time. So uh, for now, thank you so very much for uh, joining me on the journey of Ara History Untold. I'm really into this game. It seems so cool, and uh, I hope you are too, and that you'll follow along. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, it would be awesome if you'd leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and as I said, comment. I love getting comments, and I read them all, and all of the above really help out the channel, and I really, really do appreciate it. So I hope you have a great day, and uh, see you next time.